Let's talk about immigration. Better yet, let's talk about illegal immigration and the border wall that's being constructed in Arizona of shipping containers. Um, first, 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 let's rewind this back and let's just talk about the fact that I was today years old when I found out that Jaguars exist in the United States of America. That's terrifying. You know why that's terrifying? Because Jaguars are the only natural predator of the gorilla. And, you know, I know that we're technically a step above gorillas on the apex predator food chain, um, as with any other animal. But, hey, man, when you learn that there's a new threat in the United States, even if it's nowhere near you, you just go, hmm, that's a little terrifying. But anyways, the reason that I know that there are jaguars in Arizona is because the construction of this uh, federally illegal border wall that is being made of shipping containers here in Arizona, across you know, along the border with Mexico, is a threat apparently to the um, you know endangered species of jaguars that are localized to that region that it is being built through. And I do care about that partially, meaning that I don't want them to uh, completely not exist, even though it's scary that they exist here. But with that being said, I think that illegal immigration is a very important issue and takes precedent for the American people over land preservation per se. I'm not saying that we should destroy, obviously, you know, our home or the planet or anything like that. But I think that a lot of those things are over exaggerated because of other agendas. <clears throat> uh, specifically, that a lot of these illegal immigrants are being allowed to vote in elections in California uh, and places like that, which you can check that information out if you want to. Um, and it's funny because. That is why everybody has to care about the border, even though me, I live in Florida. I live in Tampa, Florida. We don't share a border with Mexico. So a lot of people who may not be following up on this subject ask, you know, or, you know, pay attention to localized politics, maybe even federal politics. And they say, OK, you know, that's for the president to worry about as far as immigration but we should all be very concerned about immigration because it affects everybody's states. We should all be concerned about elections in border states because that is what controls a lot of what's done about immigration, illegal immigration and legal immigration. Of course, those are the people who establish the laws and the systems in order to get people in here the right way, in order to get refugees into the United States the right way so that they can gain citizenship and do what they need to do in order order to, uh, you know, make a better life for their family. But in the same token, it also controls the mitigation and management of illegal immigration. And we cannot have the two. Uh, we can't we can't group illegal and legal immigration in the same category because there are so many people who get to America the right way, as we should say, and are there improvements to be made on the process? Probably. I don't know too much about the process, actually. But I will say that allowing them to just come into the United States of America by just crossing along the border is bad in a lot of ways. It's a threat to national security. We don't do proper vetting of who the people are that are coming into the United States. Those people, and I know it's Trumpian to say these kind of things, but those people could be connected to any other type of organization, person, motives that we would have no clue about. So I'm not saying that you should assume that somebody is a criminal or something just because they uh, are leaving another country. But if they are entering the country illegally, meaning starting off by breaking the law, it doesn't really set a good uh, precedent for an introduction to a human. Hey, I broke the law in order to even get here to meet you, but I want you to trust in me. So 
We have to be very realistic about that. And we have to be very realistic about the protection of our border. And I, it's kind of laughable that it's shipping containers with razor wire fences that is being constructed in Arizona right now in order to like uh, close the gap between the construction that was done during the Trump uh, presidency. So we have to take this seriously. There are parts of it that are funny. There are parts of it that will make you maybe angry. There are parts of it that will maybe make you concerned for the environment, but we have to uh, know that without the sovereignty of our nation, without the, how do I say it? Without hard defined static borders of our nation, there is nothing to protect, there's nothing to defend, and we don't make the rules if it's the Wild West and it's chaos. And I want you to know that the people who could be coming into power if these kind of things are left unmitigated will not care about the environment. So sometimes having that uh, foresight, that far thinking mentality will let you understand that some answers to some things are not as simple as they may seem at that moment. And there's many different ways to reach many different solutions for many different problems. But as far as illegal immigration goes, we can't worry about Jaguars too much. Coyotes, though. Uh -huh. You see what I did there? <laughs>